Hi Paul, this is Stan. Here we go. This is the photograph I used of, of Venice. So first of all, you go to Venice, you take a picture, and hopefully it's got some good mood. And then I take my photos, and I nearly always will take like these L mats. These are two L's. And I turn them like this, and on nearly all of my photographs, whether it's on the computer like this, I will zoom in and I will find a composition that I think works pretty good. This stage right here is by far the most important part of anyone's painting. We have to have a good composition. So, so much more important than color and technique. So once you find your composition, here it is. Here's what I'm going to paint. And I enlarge it. So that's my composition. I'm going to try to paint that. Then we have to draw this, or you can trace it if you want. You can grid it. I know how to draw. I've been to Venice many times, paint on location, but sometimes I do trace to save time. Uh, but get that on there. So then I draw it on. Now here's the finished painting, and it looks exactly like the photograph. If you put that there, and then you look at your photograph here, you can hardly tell the difference. So again, here I am painting exactly what I see because I like it. So it's just simply a process of, we have to make sure if you put these side by side and we use the squares, this is the way the square thing works. You take two squares like this, I can find them here. You take your squares, the paintings are the same size, put your square right for instance on the corner. This is what I do to check when you're done. Now if you, if you look at those there, they're virtually identical. Color slightly different, but if I move this up a little bit here, you can see how uh, I just when I if I want my painting to look exactly like the thing, whenever I move these things, wherever I move them, it should look the same. Okay, so you can see that there the painting and the photograph. Let's come down here, and I'll come to some little detailed area right in there and pretty much exactly the way it looks. Slightly lighter. Let's come down here by this little boat and over here. Again, look at that. You've got to get it drawn right and you've got to get it... Uh, and so let's go to the water. Now here, look at the water right next to the boat there. You simply have to make sure that you have little white specks, dots for the shimmer, exactly where it looks. So if I move this up really close you look at that there, that's the painting, and let's look at the photograph. That's the photograph. So once you know that you're going to draw it exactly the way it looks, you're going to paint it exactly the way it looks, all you have to do is make sure you, you get your drawing on there right. So we have to save that water. So how are we going to save it? That's just a minor technical thing. But what I do is I take masking fluid here. So you've got, I just use, uh, it doesn't matter what you use, but this is fairly fluid. I like this uh, Peb, Pebio drawing gum, and it's fairly fluid. So the first thing I did, I draw this out. Then I take this, and with a very good brush, I put some soap in it, and I draw out, all, here's the photograph, I draw out all of those little white specks in there. See those specks? They have to all be drawn out very carefully. So I take I take a number six inch brush like this right here. I take this fluid here and the first thing I do is I uh, on a white piece of paper I have my drawing and then I come in with my my masking fluid and very carefully I put in these tiny little dots here. All these things and the brush you know the masking fluid so we put that all in exactly where it fits and you've either trace that on. You know exactly where the dots go. It can take a good, you can take a half hour painting that masking fluid on. Once I get it on, nothing else is painted. I take a wash and I, I paint through the whole thing, over the masking fluid and everything. And I paint based on, here's our photograph. You got to get the color right, get it on there. You paint it on and get your dark to light. That's also part of the thing. Notice that this is darker, this gets lighter, it gets darker. So you've got to get it not only down here, you've got to get this right. You've got to pay attention to how the values change. Look at the value here and as I move this across, look at that color change right there. And it's not only a color change, and here it gets darker on this side here. So it gets lighter here because the sun is coming down right there. And also look at the darkness of that 
compared to the darkness of that. This is much further away. So you got to get your values right, get your drawing right, get your masking fluid. So then once I put my washes on there, I peel off my masking fluid with your your uh, rubber cement or your masking fluid lifter and I rub that I rub that all off. And then I went back in a little bit with some uh, you can buy this um, bleed proof white and I, I come in and any little dots I didn't get I paint them in and then I add a little bit of color there. See the color and that's because it's in the photograph. So I'm just painting what I see then I go in and the next thing I did I painted this, I painted this and there it is. It's done. So that's it Paul. Hope that helps. Let me know. Bye bye.